Hey guys, what's up? This is Al from It's Android's World here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial that's actually really, really important for an Android user. And this is how to back up and restore your rooted Android phone. You can do this with pretty much any Android phone that's rooted running the latest Amon Raw recovery. So basically what this does, it's a, an Android backup. What this does will back up every single last detail about your current ROM to the T. All your text messages, all your wallpapers, your icon setup. Um, all the apps you have installed, your launcher, if you have any custom theming done to it, every single thing will be instantly backed up. And then you can pretty much do anything you want. You can flash other ROMs, other hacks, other mods. And if you don't like what you flash, you just do an Android restore, and that'll bring everything back to normal. And that's actually one of the reasons I haven't been doing too many ROM reviews and tutorials lately, because I don't like having to go back and put everything back how I like it to be. Now I just have the ROM that I'm running right now, which is Cyanogen 4.2.15.1 without the RAM hack. I'll show you guys that real fast. 4.2.15.1 is probably the most stable ROM out there for the T-Mobile G1 right now, and it's really fast. I use this as my default ROM now, so anytime anything goes wrong, all I do is do an Android restore, make sure I back up. Like Every time I flash a new ROM, I pretty much will start doing an Android backup. And then every time I flash ROM that I want to go back to this, if I don't like it, then this just is restored right back to my phone. And it's just a really, really cool feature. So let's go ahead and see how to do it. First, you're going to boot into recovery. So hold down the end call button and tap reboot phone if you have it and hit OK. If you don't have it, just power off the phone and turn it back on with home. If you're doing it this way, wait for the phone to shut off and hold down the home key. That'll boot us into Amon Ra's latest recovery image for the G1 or My Touch. Again, this does work on pretty much any Android phone out there right now, as long as you have Omnira's latest recovery image. If you guys have a G1, I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. And if I get a MyTouch anytime soon, I'll start doing my touch tutorials. So here we are. Basically, all you're going to do is you'll see an option. I'll let that focus real fast. Backup slash restore right there. So all you're going to do is use the trackball to just click that. And that'll take us into this new menu. You see you got NAND Backup, NAND plus EXT Backup, NAND Restore, and BART Backup and Restore. Now, personally, I use NAND Backup. Um, I don't really know why. I just decided to use that. Most people say use it. So I, I did it, and it worked perfectly. So what you're going to do is just tap on that, and then you'll get the option to create an Android Backup. Press Home to confirm. So just click the Home key, and it'll say Performing Backup. Now, this can take a really long time if you have a ton of data. It can take a really short time if you just flashed a ROM. Um, so I'll let you know how long it takes. You can see each dot is pretty much about a second, so I'll get back to you guys when that's finished. Alright guys, so it actually did not take too long at all, so it'll say backup complete now. So we'll go back out, and now all you're going to do is just hit the back key, and tap reboot system now, and that'll take you back into your Cyanogen ROM, or whatever ROM you personally backed up. Again, I like backing up Cyanogen, because it's just the most stable ROM out there for me. Um, it's a really, really stable ROM. Highly recommend you use Cyanogen. 4.2.15.1 as your backed up ROM. So now we'll go ahead and get into our phone and flash a random ROM. Alright guys, so now that I'm booted back up, I'm going to go ahead and flash ZX Eclair 1.1, which is another fully working Eclair ROM out there right now that I'm not sure if I want to keep on my phone. It's a ROM that I was told was fully working, so if it is as fast as advertised, I will keep it and I will definitely let you guys know if I will. Anyways, we'll pull down the notification bar. Tap USB connected, hit mount, sorry for the helicopter, and go to our computer. Alright guys, so now let's go ahead and drag and drop the ROM that I want to flash onto the Ruby SD card. By the way guys, when you do the backup, make sure you leave everything on your SD card. I'm not sure if that really has to do with anything, but I recommend just leaving it on your SD card so it actually can restore everything. And also guys, I said sorry for the helicopter because there's a helicopter flying around. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it or not, but there definitely is one. Now that the ROM is successfully flashed over to my phone, we'll go ahead and safely eject my phone from the computer, and I'll go back to it now. Alright guys, now let's go ahead and unplug the USB cable from the bottom of the phone, and we'll wait for the preparing SD card logo to pop up right there, and then go away. So now I'm going to go ahead and flash the ROM, I'll go ahead and do that reboot phone to recovery thing again, little shortcut, hit OK, and let my phone reboot into recovery by holding down the home key when it shuts off. 
And again, this will take me to Amon Ra's latest recovery. I'm not sure if there's any other recovery image out there that has the backup and restore. I'm pretty sure all of them should if you're not running Amon Ra, but I still highly, highly recommend Amon Ra's recovery image. It's positively the best out there right now. Offers you the most controls and everything. So now I'm just going to go ahead and flash the ROM. Um, you do still do a full wipe. It doesn't really matter. All that does is wipe what's actually on the ROM you're about to flash. And you can see all the files I have on here. I just didn't want to delete anything. So I'm going to flash the ZX Eclair 1.1 and let that finish. Alright guys, so I have the ROM flash. So I'm just going to hit reboot system now and let my phone boot up. Alright guys, so I set up the ROM. I've played with it now and I want to switch back to my old ROM. I want to go back to CyanogenGen 4.2.15.1 because I made a mistake flashing this ROM. It's not good for daily usage and blah 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 blah. Of course, I'm not saying that literally, but um, that's just how it might work for you guys. Um, again, well, to be honest, I really wouldn't use this as my daily driver phones. But what we're going to do is just boot right back into recovery. All you have to do is boot back into recovery. And, um, yeah, once you're there, you're just going to restore the actual ROM. Now, it's a little bit different. Um, it's kind of looked like it's like an encrypted password thing, but it's really easy to read once you actually get into it. So I'll show you guys that in a second when my phone gets into recovery mode. And here we are. So we're just going to go to backup slash restore, and that was wrong, right there. And then we're going to go to NAND restore, which is that option right down the third down. And then when, if it's your very first time NAND, doing a NAND backup, you only have one option here. So click on that, and then you'll have two here. But you'll notice it actually kind of shows the date. It says 2010-0504. So that means 2010, it's May, and it's the 4th. And you got some other four random digits down there. But that is indeed the date that you did a NAND backup. So I recommend not doing more than one NAND backup a day. You can see it shows that I've done two today, even though I didn't. So I don't really know why that is. But I know that this is my most recent one for sure. So I'm just going to click on that. And then it'll say to confirm it. So I'll hit home and let it restore my phone. All right, guys. So now that it's done, you can see it didn't take too long at all. We're just going to go back, hit reboot system now, and let our phone boot right back up to the last ROM we were running. Alright guys, and look at that. I am right back to exactly how my phone was set up before. I didn't do any setting up. I just rebooted my phone. You can see my set CPU is even right back to normal. If I go into messaging, all my messages are still right there. Everything is perfect, and that is a really, really amazing, amazing feature. Thanks for watching, guys. You can see how simple it is. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash androidsworld. Rate this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and favorite this video if you're going to start using Android Backup. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.